So guys, today we're going to be talking about the death of the photo show. I know, it sounds morbid, but it's that time of year anyways, right? That time of year, it's a seasonal thing. No, no, it's not. Yeah, so the death of the photo show. I just saw something come through having to do with Photokina, and it was kind of a downer. Basically, Photokina is not doing so well, let's just say. There were some companies that were normally there that won't be there, and I'm looking at it as like, you know, when they change this patterning of doing Photokina every year in comparison to every other year, problems, I think, arose. Now, before I get into it a little bit, I wanna say, if you haven't went over to my website, jchristina.com, go check it out. I've made a lot of photography tools over the years. Go see if there's anything there that you like. And if there is for this week, use YT20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off everything that's in your shopping cart. So let me get right back into this Photokina thing. Now, before I tell you why I think that these photo conferences, these photo shows are dying on the vine, um, let me just give you a little bit of background, a little story here as to maybe to give a point of reference of why I say what I'm saying. Now, a lot of you that have been with me for a while know that I've come from Digital Photography Cafe. All right, Trevor Current and myself did Digital Photography Cafe for like six, seven years. We did hundreds and hundreds of shows and we would fly all over the country covering tech shows, covering photo shows, all right? Right from booths and do live programming, basically. Okay, we did it before it was like a hip thing to do, all right? Well, back in right around, I think it was 2015, somewhere around there, the then... CEO of PMA, which is the Photo Marketing Association, reached out to us and said, you know, are you guys available for this think tank that we're doing, this brainstorming session? Basically, PMA was dying, all right? Now, if you don't know what PMA was, PMA was the largest photo show in the United States, bar none, for like decades. It was massive. It was like a photo kina in Cologne, Germany, but here in the United States, it was massive, bigger than Photo Plus Expo, bigger than everything, bigger than WPPI, bigger than all of them, all right? Very, very big, and it was dying. And the CEO at that time, Georgia McCabe, reached out to us and said, you know, can you be part of this think tank? We'd like for you guys to fly in to Washington, D.C. for a couple of days, and we're gonna do two days of this just melding the top minds in the industry together to see what we can do to save this entity, this beautiful thing. I mean, if you have been around for a period of time, you know that PMA was just awesome, all right? The shows were awesome, the people were awesome. So we were trying to save it. And the people that were there, along with myself and Trevor Current, were like Google, Panasonic, H and H photo. We had mixed books people. We had Life Touch. I'm sure if any of you guys had kids, you know who Life Touch is. We had Amazon. We had Olympus. A lot of big names. A lot of the big people were there. And there was probably about 20 of us, 25 of us there trying to figure out what we can do to help PMA to survive. All right. And like I said, that was a two day process. And after that process was done, we went into the next year, into 2016, and what we came up with was this Innovation Now. And Innovation Now was a conference of all of these thinkers, all of these leaders, to get together and be able to meld thought, you know, mind meld together to see what's going on with the industry and how we can kind of rescue it, okay? Because it really wasn't doing well. So right around September of 2016, this innovation now happened and this seminar was in San Francisco. So we were there to once again, try to figure out what we can do to get this on track. And after about maybe six, eight months, PMA died. It went belly up, bankrupt. It was the end of it. We did all that we could. There was a lot of just brilliant people there coming up with some really amazing thoughts on what to do. But the bottom line was, is the industry didn't allow it to happen. The thing was, people were not showing up to these events anymore. 
all right? And the ones that were, were like looky-loos. They weren't actually buying. The ROI for the manufacturers that would go to these events and spend tens of thousands of dollars on booths wasn't there. The return on investment was simply not there, guys. So coming to Photokina now and why I say Photokina is dying is because I've seen this happen before. And it's a similar type of model of what happened with PMA, all right? Photokina went from an every other year event that was very exclusive, right? It only happened every other year. The people that were there were like just happy to be there. It was 24 months later and they're back, all right? And the manufacturers enjoyed being there and some of them were paying $100,000 for a booth, all right? Well, new people, new owners, new board, whatever, said, hey, we need to do this every year because it's not working. We're not making enough. So they changed Photokina into an every year type of event. Well, guys, didn't work. <laughs> it just simply didn't work. As of 2019's event, they had to cancel it because there wasn't enough people coming. Because all of the manufacturers said, you know what? We're used to doing this every other year. We can't go and outlay another $100,000 on a booth that we just did the year before. We're not prepared for that and we're not going to do it. The ROI, like I said, the return on investment is just simply not there. And that is, I think, what's happening with Photokina. I think that it's just not working. Now, in the news, what kind of provoked me to talk to you guys about this is that in the news, they talked about Photokina and that the likes of like Nikon and Olympus were not going to show up this year at all for the 2020 Photokina. Now, that's bad, guys. But what's even worse, Leica, that's a German company that's literally a stone's throw away from Cologne, wasn't going to come. They decided to pull out for the 2020 Photokina event. The writing's on the wall, guys. The writing's on the wall. I don't know if they even realize it over there, but it's dying. It's dying. Now, looking at the shows that we see here, Trevor Kerr and myself, we covered WPPI in Las Vegas. We covered PPE, which is Photo Plus Expo in New York City for many, many years. And I've talked to the leaders, let's say, over there at Photo Plus Expo. And I told them, you know, this thing is dying, guys. You have a lot of traffic. You have a lot of traffic coming into the events, but the ROI is not there for your vendors. And you're going to start seeing people just pull out. That is what's happening. People are pulling out. These vendors are not continuing to spend with you guys. And why? Because you have a lot of looky-loos. It's very accessible. You have a ton of people going to the event, but no one's buying nothing, all right? And it's all younger people, people out of school. A lot of people are there just as a place to go. You know, some of them are getting the tickets for free to get in. It's just simply people that are in Manhattan. Those are the people that are going there. Now, conversely, we have WPPI that's in Las Vegas, whereas you actually have to fly out into the middle of the desert to go to that show. So the people that you do see go to WPPI really want to be there, all right? They really want to be there. The majority of those people flew to get there, not just the vendors, but the actual people that are at the show. So it's a lot better of a show, and I think that that is going to have a slower demise, let's say, than PPE. But back to Photokina. I just don't think it's going well, guys. I think it's slowly dying on the vine. And I think we're going to see this continuous shrinkage in the number of people that show up and the number of actual vendors and manufacturers that actually show there. The whole idea of being able to do this show every year, I think personally has hurt it. Not making any less of the fact that the industry is definitely in decline as a whole. So guys, not wonderful news today, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it a little bit because I think it's important. So we know where the industry is going, all right? I've been doing this for 20 years and I've been watching it and I've been covering it for over 10 years now. So it's not great, but it just simply is the way it is. And I think that manufacturers are seeing it and these shows are definitely feeling it. So guys, what do you think? Do you think that I'm all wet? <laughs>
Do you think that I'm wrong? Or do you think that I'm right? What do you think, all right? Do you think that the shows are slowly going to decline and we're not going to see the shows out there as much? Do we think that Photo Plus Expo and Photo Kina and maybe even WPPI are gonna go the way of the dinosaur like PMA did, which was massive in its heyday? So that's it guys. If you enjoy the content, please throw me a big thumbs up. That will be awesome. And if you absolutely hate me and the content, thumbs down it. I don't do that. But do smash that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon right about here. So when it is available, you'll be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. And guys, one more thing. Head over to community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com and join our community. There's a lot of great people over there, very helpful. They just want to help everyone. They give back to the community. They give back to the industry in spades. Really, really great stuff. So join the community. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for the end of the vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Take care and many blessings.